So we've got Beta Flight 3 on this at the moment, and I've left Super Expo on the cyclic, but I've removed it from the yaw. So a nice, fast, responsive, perky yaw. Woo! Okay. Nice, really nice. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to with such a nice perky yaw and then a relatively slow, slow, slow cyclic for, I don't know, 50, 60% of the stick. But it's totally flyable and I much prefer that yaw. I'd probably maybe reduce it just a touch or a tiny, tiny bit of expo at the start for, for FPV stuff, but line of sight, I was digging that. <laughs> nice, really nice. Can't wait to play some FPV with it. But I think I'm going to change that camera out. And I've also got a beeper on there as well. So there's a soldered wire from the positive where my LiPo inputs into the board to the VBAT on the board. And then the buzzer's just soldered onto the two buzzer pads. It's that simple and then I activate it on, I put it on AUX2. So I've got it over here, and that's it. The two antennas that were just stuffed inside and the receiver. The receiver is now stuck to this top plate with some double sided sticky foam so it's not just mashing around inside there. I fed the antennas up here with a cable tie so they stuck out there. Um, the VTX as well, I stuck that down with some double sided foam as well. It was just basically hanging there, moving around with a cable tie over this part here. So now it's, it's a bit more solid, is that there? This right angled adapter here that likes to pop this off, I physically just pressed it down with some pliers back together and it, it clips in relatively tight, as tight as it was when I first got it. 
I wouldn't expect it to last that long in crashes and what have you. And you might have a problem if you crash and this comes out and you can't find your quad, then the VTX might might not be very happy. But I think it will probably stay alive uh, 10 minutes or so with, with the right angle adapter on it. It's got something on at least.